Uh, today we will be making buffalo cauliflower wraps. So, um, I just have to mention how beautiful it is outside. Just beautiful. It's beautiful out here. It's about 108 degrees today. Last time I checked, yeah, 108. Um, we in Vegas, so that's cool to me. Um, anywho, yeah, we'll be doing some uh, buffalo cauliflower wrap. I made this once last summer, and it was so good. So I figured since I made it last summer around this time, I'll make it again and share it with everybody. I shared it the first time on Instagram. So if you don't get everything you need here, you could double back to my Instagram and go get it from there. Um, so yeah, let's go to the kitchen. So I figured we'll hop right into it. You're gonna need all of these items um, to accomplish this beautiful wrap. Um, you see the items on the screen? I do not know why sweet potatoes was in there more than once. Uh, make sure you um, start setting your oven for 450. That will be for um, the sweet potatoes and after we get the cauliflower all sauced up. With this, I use two cups of flour, two cups of water. Later on in the video, you will see that I did go ahead and add another, I think, half cup of water because it wasn't how I wanted it to be, um, the consistency of the batter. So, yeah, I'm just trying to clean up my mess as I go, which never really goes well. I don't even know why I didn't have my station together. So we got the um, cauliflower is all battered up. Throw it inside of some cornmeal. Shake it up really good. It's just like making chicken when you really think about it. Um, my oil was already hot. So I just, of course, after I got the cornmeal all over my cauliflower, I just dropped it in the oil. Um, and I use avocado oil for everything because it can be um, used on high heat. You could use whatever kind of oil you want. I just don't recommend using coconut oil. And boom. These bad boys is all golden. Time to flip them. Um, make sure that you do flip these. You cannot just leave them in there. Because, yeah, one side to be fried and the other side to be, I don't know, nasty. So, yeah. Uh, make sure you flip them. I flip mine's. Um, about five minutes in because it don't take long we're talking about cauliflower for instance and uh, flour and cornmeal also I see a lot of people don't use cornmeal um, I use cornmeal because it give it an extra crunch so yeah at first I didn't used to use cornmeal but somebody said girl try some cornmeal and cornmeal is man cornmeal got it looking like chicken really so yeah, I'm just flipping these bad boys. I'm getting hungry all over again. Mm -hmm. I need a better utensil because that that thing was mm -mm, not working with me. Bomb. So, oh, that was pretty quick. Onto the sweet potato fries, drizzle some oil of your choice. The spices will be down below in the description box. So no need to try to keep up with what I'm doing here. But for the most part, I did just put a little salt, some black pepper, some garlic seasoning, some paprika. No, 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 that, yeah, paprika. And that was parsley that you just seen. Um, yeah, you gotta really like massage the seasonings the spices whatever y'all want to call them into there because you want it to get all over the food like you don't want to miss a spot really massage it in there so right here i'm actually placing everything well the sweet potatoes on the pan i didn't know that the camera wasn't getting that but that's okay i'm sure anybody that's watching this video knows how to place some 
sweet potato fries on a pan. 25 minutes in the oven on 450. So now we're on to the sauce. I use this butter earth balance. Uh, you can use whatever butter you want to use. That's all up to you. This is the buffalo uh, sauce that I use. I don't normally use this. Um, I normally use Red Hot, but the store didn't have it. So whatever, a first time for everything, it wasn't bad. Um, one, the color after my food was done, I, I wasn't too pleased with the color, honestly. But they were still bomb. So it was what it was. Okay, so I did add some butter into the um, pot. I let the butter melt um, and then added in the buffalo sauce cook that up let it kind of i don't really want to say boil but just let it get hot i got this lemon so i could put some lemon in there you guys will see that now i'm trying to figure out why was i taking all these little short breaks or pit stops whatever um yeah i always add lemon just for like some extra flavor i love lemons yeah that was a big ass lemon it couldn't fit so, yeah, I had to drain the seeds with my hands. Mix that up. Look at this, look at this. Hey, look at this, look at this. Okay, so, yeah, I'll just uh mix it. You see the, it's hot, but really not boiling. Now it's time to drizzle all that sauce over these golden cauliflower bites. It's about to get real in here. And yes, I did reuse my Tupperware because I don't like washing dishes. Dang. So you just put that all over. Oh, another thing about this sauce, I didn't like how thin it was. So I will highly recommend getting a different sauce. Um, like Red Hot. I love Red Hot. So I might have to do this video over using Red Hot no sauce left behind okay and i'm so serious about that no sauce at all oh gosh diamond what are you doing oh trying to get everything together <laughs> never fails so yeah i'm gonna put a little more because again that sauce was a little too damn for me shake it up again it's just if you watching this and you eat meat you make chicken like this bro so you know whatever normally i put my chicken i said chicken <laughs> normally i put my cauliflower inside of a um like a ziploc bag but i'm not trying to be wasting no ziploc bags i need them home get your foil together so um your buffalo cauliflower bites in the foil make sure when you wrap the foil you're gonna see that i kind of wrap mine a little bit tight um you could wrap it like that or you could leave it open just a little bit but i like for the steam or the smoke whatever you want to call it to just like get in there again no sauce left behind so let me grab my tool and get all that sauce on these buffalo bites yeah i think i'm about to go and make me something to eat after this and please bear with me y'all i'm not a, a voiceover type of person i'd rather just talk <laughs> but i talk a lot so yeah that's how we ended up with the voiceover because in this video i was talking a lot and it ended up being um this video ended up being about a good 45 minutes. So, yeah. Boom. Now everything is, is done. Um, these was only in the oven for 10 minutes. I normally do 15 minutes. But I'm not even going to lie. I was super hungry. I didn't show you guys the barbecue ones. Because, it, yeah. We was focusing on the buffalo cauliflower bites. The barbecue is for my daughter. Of course, I'm not going to give a one-year-old no buffalo spicy nothing. But hers was good, too, because <laughs> I ate some. And she really did enjoy them, per usual. 
so yeah this is how they look they really do look good it's just i'm so used to the red hot so now we're on to the wrap i use the um spinach mission wrap i got my vegan mayo we gonna spread that on there i don't do dry so yeah i'm a little generous with my uh mayo and whatever spreads honestly <clears throat> excuse me get them buffalo cauliflower bites on there so my mission wraps they the mission wraps not that big um so i was only able to squeeze a few of the um cauliflower bites on there which i still got full off of just one wrap and some uh fries so that's fine with me throw on tomatoes on there the tomatoes brought out a lot of flavor also some onions and by the way this um wrap that i'm making right here is my spouse's wrap by the time it, i got ready to make mine my phone had died and yeah i'm trying to figure out what am i forgetting so i forgot to put on his wrap um i forgot to put cheese i forgot to put spinach and it was something else that i forgot to put i think no it was just cheese and spinach and sriracha i forgot to put those few things so yeah i actually took a bite of his and i was like oh yeah i taste the difference between yours and mine so when you do this try not to forget nothing don't be like me here we go it's that million dollar cut right there mm -mm -mm. Got them sweet potato fries. My uh, sweet potato fries was only in the oven for 25 minutes. That is the delicious meal. And here I go eating mine. Because guess what? It's crunch time. Ooh, first bite. Go on, girl. Yep. You see, I got my sriracha. Oh, and for my uh, sweet potato fries, I made me a little sauce. I got some sriracha. And my vegan mayo, I mixed that up, and that's what I was dipping my um my sweet potato fries in and my wrap. Amazing. That is amazing. I did that once before when I made um some rutabagas. Y'all probably like what is rutabagas, but I'll make a video on that, and it was good. This right here, this oh big ass bite. Oh, and I don't eat pretty. It ain't my thing. No need. Shit, everybody got to eat. But I, I am kind of looking at myself. Eat like, damn, man, slow down. <laughs> Bomb. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. I totally appreciate it. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.